I'm terribly sorry. Forgive me for asking, but didn't you used to be Shirley Valentine? Marjorie Majors. I'd recognise those elocution lessons anywhere. It is. It's Shirley. My God, you're drenched. Come in and have tea. Well, Marjorie. You've waited a long time for your revenge, but you got me in good style now. Well, go on. Dig the knife in quick and let's get it over with. Tell me all about you being an air hostess on Concord. I can't believe it, Shirley. After all these years. I know, and I haven't changed a bit, have I? Still kept my youthful complexion. <laughs> We've got to get you out of those wet things. Here we are. Marjorie. Oh, that's better. Hello. Now, I want to know everything that's happened to you. I want the whole story from A to Z. You've got a postage stamp. I'll write it down for you. Won't you sit down, Shirley? Do you have children? Yeah. Tell me about them. Are they like you? Uh, well, Armalandra's a bit of a mare and Brian's a head case, so, yeah, they are like me. <laughs> Well, this is great, isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, so uh, where, where are you off to next? Paris. Tonight, I'm afraid. Is that where you live now? No, I'm based in London, but uh, I travel all over. From Paris, it's Athens, I think. That's Greece, isn't it? Yeah. Remember that from geography? All those islands. <laughs> That's right. Shall I pour now, madam? Please. This is my friend Marjorie. We were at school together. Marjorie's an air hostess now. On Concord. Uh, pardon, darling? An air hostess? <laughs> my God, Shirley, whatever gave you that idea? I certainly travel widely, but I'm not an air hostess. Darling, I'm a hooker. I'm a whore. Oh, madam, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, I'll get you some more. Never mind, just leave it. What do we want tea for, anyway? This calls for a celebration. I just can't believe it. You a hooker? Honest, Marjorie? Yes, honest. And all that money your mother spent on those elocution lessons? Do you know something? I always hated the way I had to speak. I still do. I think you speak lovely. You, Marjorie Majors, a hooker. <laughs> a top-class hooker, of course. Mind you, I always was top of the class, wasn't I? Are you shocked, darling? No, no, I'm not. I was just thinking about all those house points. <laughs> Oh. Is that our class? Yes. Oh, my God. Look at me hair. That's your favourite? Yeah, that cow, Miss Dayton. Remember, Marjorie? Smoking is bad for your health. God, what a pain in the neck I was. No, you weren't. Do you know... I never forgave myself for what I did to that beautiful souffle of yours. Yes? Yes. Oh, right. Tell him I'll be down in five minutes. Hell, it's my car for the airport. Oh, I wish I didn't have to go. It's been such a lovely afternoon. Yeah. And do you know, when I first saw you, I almost fled. Why? Ah, I don't know why. I thought you'd come lording it over me. Me? Lording it over you? Don't you realise I wanted to be like you? And I wanted to be like you. If only we'd known. 
could have been great mates, you know, real close. It's been fun, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're off to Paris now. That's lovely. Yes. But I'd rather be here talking to you. Well, then. Can we give you a lift? No, I'm fine, thanks. I've still got a bit more shopping to do. Well, then. And there was real affection in that kiss. It was the sweetest kiss I'd known in years. Goodbye, Shirley. Goodbye, Shirley Valentine. 